Welcome to Learn Yourself. Page number 159, question number 1. A collection of 10 chips with different colors is given. So colors are here. We have to write how many number of green chips are there. Then we have to represent it in a fraction. Then denominator we have to make it 100 and then we have to write it in percentage. So let us first write the number of the chips and then we will see the total count. So there are four green color chips over here. So number, so green color chips are in four quantity. Now blue are three, so three. Then red are also three. So 3. So total is 4 plus 3, 7. 7 plus 3, 10. So total 10 chips are there. Now how to represent this in fraction? So when we are writing fraction, it is going to be a quantity, that desired quantity, what we required divided by total quantity. So here our desired quantity is 4 because we are writing fraction for green color chips. So green color chips are in Four quantities. So 4 divided by total quantity is 10. So for green color chips, the fraction is going to be 4 divided by 10. Now for blue, similarly 3 by 10. Red, it is also going to be 3 by 10. Now when the denominator is 100. So here in fraction, the denominator is 10. When we are making denominator 100, what is going to happen? So it is going to be 4 divided by 100. When total quantity is 100, then what we will get? 0 0.04. When the denominator is 100 for this, we will get 0 0.03. When denominator is 100 for red color chips, it is going to be 0 0.03. Now in percentage, so this fraction, when fraction is there, when we are converting it into percentage, we are multiplying with 100. When percentage is there, we are converting into fraction. We have to divide with 100. So, here we have to multiply with 100. Now, let us convert these quantities R into percentage. Now, we have 4 blue color chips out of 10 chips. Total 10 chips are there. Out of that, 4 chips are blue color chips. If 10 chips are 100%, and out of that 10 chips, we have 4 chips of that how many percentage chips are. So, we will get here 100 into 4 divided by 10. So, 10 and 10 will get cancelled it off. We will get 40% for the chips. That if 10 quantities are 100% for all these chips. Why we have written 10 here? Because total 10 chips are there. So, when 4 chips are there, what will be the percentage for the chips? So, it is 40%. It is unitary method what I am following here. So, our percentage is 40%. Now, similarly for the blue color chips, that 10 chips are 100% quantity. Then for 3 blue color chips, what will be the quantity? 3 into 100 divided by 10. So, 1010 10 will get cancel it off. We will get 30% blue color chips. Now, red color chips are also 3. So, that also going to be 30%. So, blue and red are 30% and green chips are 40%. Now, together they should give us 100%. So, 30 plus 30, 60 plus 40, 100%. So, yes. All the three chips will cover 100% quantity. Page number 159, question number 2. Mala has a collection of bangles. She has 20 gold bangles, 10 silver bangles. What is the percentage of bangles of each type? Can you put it in a tabular form as done in above example? So how we have represented our answer in question number 1, the same way we have to represent it over here also. So bangles are two types. Gold bangles are there and silver bangles are there. Now, how many gold bangles are there? 20 gold bangles are there and 10 silver bangles are there. Now, total quantity here is total 30 bangles are there. 20 plus 10, 30 bangles are there. We have to represent this into a fraction. So, desired quantity divided by total quantity. So, 20 divided by 30 and here 10 divided by 30. Now, 
when we are converting into percentage we are multiplying with 100 so we have to write it like this that if 30 bangles are 100 percent quantity then for 20 bangles what will be the percentage quantity so 20 into 100 divided by 30 so 1010 10 we can cut it off and here 200 divided by 3 so let us divide this 200 divided by 3 so 2 we cannot take it alone because it is smaller than 3 so we are taking both the numbers so 3 6 are 18 we will get here 2 again we are taking down this 0 20 again 6 so we will get here 18 2 we will put here decimal point and we will put here 0 again 6 and it will go on and on like this so here we can write 66.67 i have rounded off this digit so i have written here 7 so 66.67 percentage will be gold bangles you can also write 66.666 percentage or you can write 66.67 percentage now let us find out for silver bangles that total 30 bangles are there and they are 100% quantity then for 10 bangles what will be the percentage quantity so 100 into 10 divided by 30 will give us 10 and 10 we can cancel it off so 100 divided by 3 so when we will divide 100 with 3 we will get 3 3s are 9 1 this 0 will come down 10 again 3 3s are 9 so 1 we can put here decimal point and here 0 again we can write 3 and 9 will be subtracted from this so this also will go on and on like this so we can write here 33.33 percent .33 quantity so 33.33 percentage will be silver bangles so thank you for watching and learning with us if you have any doubt please comment down below i'll see you in next video till then keep learning keep sharing and don't forget to subscribe learn yourself